Well, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about 10 different altcoins today. Uh, I'll go over the list right now. Here it is. We're going over Velo, XMR, Storage, ACH, ABT, GFI, DIA, Aventus, A-V-E-N-T-U-S, um, NEO, N-E-O. Oh, we got an ad playing. And Scott. I believe that's 10. I have YouTube Premium, man. I don't. I just haven't logged into it on here. Um, anyways, anyways, guys, let's get started. I'm gonna pause the music, um, and we'll give shout-outs along the way. I do want to say I had a special request from Morice, or maybe it's Maurice. I think it's Morice, telling me to do the moon cycles. We're gonna do the moon cycles, man. We're gonna do it. I will do it at the end of each analysis here. Um, Velo, first and foremost, for the determined velo for the determined very bullish very very bullish chart you probably pull back from here you probably do you're so overbought man you, you gotta cool off you gotta chill bro chill just chill what, what, what are you doing why you keep running up everything else is chilling why, why are you so manic you have to keep growing good job but you probably pull back to about one cent you probably do it's in line with this kind of like trajectory here about one cent is what i would give you look at that right 1.4 cent Maybe 1.4, 1.388, 1, .4, 1 .388, cent itself, but any and all of those things are possible over the coming week to weeks, something like that. Maybe you have an initial pop up first, but it wouldn't be sustained. Like if you moved up to here, like you could move up to 3.3 .3 cents, you're at 2.2 .2 cents now, but then inevitably come down, you know? So um, if we do get a pop, great time to sell. If we don't, you know, doesn't mean panic sell, just maybe buy down here, you know, not financial advice, do what you want, but that's, that's fellow. We're going to do the moon phase right now. Oh, not on the personals, technicals. There we go. Moon phases. All right. Okay. So first and foremost, y'all, if we look at this, maybe we should look at it on a daily, right? So this is when the full moon is supposed to come, right? When, let's see, when is when is the next, I don't think that is the full moon, I think that's the new moon, right? Full moon calendar, when to see the next full moon? May 23rd on Thursday, May 23rd. Which would imply what, that we will be rising into that moon, right? Probably the new moon's coming, so we might see a drop off soon. Maybe, I don't know. This moon cycle on Velo, it doesn't seem to be playing out too accurately. Let me see, when, when was the last full moon? Was it on April 23rd? That sounds about right. If the next one's on the 23rd, that, that kind of makes sense, right? Let's see, it says calendar. I know guys, April 23rd. All right, so this is accurate. It's an accurate thing. Um, Found a low right here on your full moon. Found a high on your full moon there. Near your high on your full moon. The way I the way I know it to be generally is going into a new moon you, you, you drop, going into a full moon you rise, but this doesn't look like it follows through with that too too much, does it? There's there's times where your new moons are actually at highs too, so it's it's just kind of backwards. I don't know if this one really follows through with that, but that's Velo. We're gonna go to XMR, and not every chart respects every indicator the same, you know. But just just an idea, and I I might not understand it properly either. So, looking at it, but this was a request. So, looking at it here, new moons coming up, you're dropping. Of course you are. Of course you're gonna drop. Um, yep. Last time, new moon, down. New moon here, down. New moon right there, down. Of course, look at that, beautiful. So yeah, probably gonna move down XMR based off the moon cycle here. If we take the moon cycle off, however, we do this, the moon phases off. This one's at the request of Smooth Operator, by the way. Shout out to the man. Uh, let's see here. High, that's not your high. High to low, 61869. Yeah, you could you might move down a little bit, down to 121. You're at 129 now, 121, because you've been just so meticulous in this. It wouldn't be surprising at all if you move down a little bit down there and then then move up. You are you're probably working your way up inevitably. That'd be my belief. You're at the low end of this accumulation phase. So I think, yeah, 
might drop a little bit more, just a few bucks, and then working its way up to the high points here at about 180 to 160, you know, over time. Daily RSI looks good. I think, you know, tomorrow perhaps a little bit down, but yes, day by day, week by week, the coming weeks will probably promote just consistent meticulous growth. If not day over day, you know, week over week, you'll be probably growing would be my, would be my thoughts. It'll be really nice when you break out of this, whenever you break that downtrend, which you're kind of looking like you want to do now. So when that happens, yes, I think you'd make a more or less straight shot up um, to this area, you know. But a straight shot up can take, it can still take time. But looking fine, working your way up, what can I say? Meticulously working your way up. And the moon phases seem to call it. So the fact that we're soon approaching to a new moon and you look like you want to go down a little bit more, it just makes sense, man. XMR. Let's talk about storage, storage A. And again, I'm I genuinely don't know if I'm using the moon phase right. Okay, it's new to me. I don't I don't look at the moon phase normally. Daily. New moon down. Full moon moving up. New moon down. Full moon sideways. New moon sideways. New moon at the top, new moon at the bottom before moving up. New moon at the top, new moon at the top. Looks like a lot of these new moons like to be either at the top or in the middle of nowhere. Full moons around the lows is what it seems to be. So perhaps we do move down based off of that alone. Looking at the store J RSI here, it looks like you want to move down also based off the RSI. Um, do you go lower than this low? I'm not so sure, but yes, I do think you go lower than this low. Potentially 42 to 44 cents. You're at 52 cents now. That might be where you go for store J. Let's move on and talk about ACH for Fonzie. That's who requested these ones. Shout out to Fonzie. Hey, um, let's see. Looking like it wants to go down more. Yeah. Probably, but like storage, I think that you have found your low. Um, I think you have. Yeah, that, it looks great for a low. I think if you were to go lower, you might form a slightly lower low than where you're at now. But like lower than this, no, I don't think so. Probably a higher low. I doubt you even double bottom would be my genuine opinion. Yeah, down to about 2.6, 2.5 cents. You're at 2.72 now, so just a little bit lower. You're fine. I think so. Yeah, a little, you're very near it, man. You'll probably find your low, your next low, your higher low today or tomorrow, probably. And then move up. You're, you're, you're moving up, slowly but surely, man. You're kind of in this grand phase of consolidation. Once you break above this flat top here, above like six cents, is that? No, that's, that's 5.2 cents. When you break above 5.2 cents, it's really going to be on, man. Yeah, this is a good one, Alchemy Pay. Probably down a little bit first though, ACH. Let's talk about ABT. Oh, did we even do the moon phases for ACH? We gotta do, hold on. Moon phases, I'm gonna make it a favorite so we just got it on there. Daily here, not a lot of relevance. You got a full moon at the high, you got a full moon at the low. You got a full moon in the middle, you got a full moon, I don't know. Full moon at the high. Full moon at the low. The next one will be a full moon in the middle, and then we have a full moon, and I don't know at that at that trajectory, right? Um, full moon in the I don't know. Full moon in the middle. New moons, kind of. It doesn't seem to be respecting it, so we're not going to base it off of that. All right, moving on, and it's because it's alchemy, man. You don't need the moon cycles for alchemy. You just make the moon with your alchemy. I don't know. ACH. I don't know about moon cycles and I don't know about alchemy either. Arc block. ABT. On Coinbase. This one is at the request of BL Spiegel. Talking about this and GFI. Looking like you want to move down. Let's pull up our handy dandy moon phase. Looking at the daily here. Highs around the new moon. Yes. So, yes, you probably do move down going into the full moon, and then the full moon will cause you to rise, is what I'm seeing here. Moon phases daily. 
Yeah, and that makes sense to me. You probably do move down. You probably move back down to about two dollars and forty cents. You're at three dollars and ten cents now, probably. Two dollars and forty cents, two dollars and sixty cents, somewhere around there. You're at three dollars and eight cents now, so down, down, and then up. But that's my thoughts on Arc Block, uh, GFI, Gold Finch. Pulling up those moon phases. Looking at it here, new moons near those highs, baby. Yeah, you're going down. I can already see it. Maybe not on that new moon, maybe not on that new moon, but this one, this one, that one, they all promoted lower prices soon to be. Not that one, maybe not that one, but this one did, that one did, this one kind of did. Nope. You're good for like three in a row, right? So yeah, you got, well, one, you, you actually got like, like one, two, three, four, five, six in a row. So maybe not, maybe this one goes up. I don't know. Based off the moon phases, I would say you're going down. But again, this is not my area of specialties, uh, of expertise. Probably based on the RSI, I would say you're going down as well. Looking at the high to the low, 618 rejected, probably moving down to $3.63. You're at $3.95 now. If you go lower, that's okay. Don't break below 320. If you break below 320, that's not your low. You're going lower. But hold. I'd really like to see you hold 363. Just do that. Bounce. Go, go down to 363. Hold there. Bounce up. Be happy. But down either way. You're probably moving down from here. I don't know. As I was saying with the moon face, after a few in a row, sometimes you neglect it. Could you be going higher? No, you're going lower. All right. That's that. 363. We'll see you there. GFI for BL Spiegel. We're going to talk about DIA. Um, I forget what DIA, that's this one here, yeah. Moon phases. I'm gonna phase the moon here. Look at that, new moon near the highs every time. I love it, man. This is the new thing. It's not new, it's older than any of us, but look at that, right on the highs. Yeah. So lower, based off the moon cycle, lower is what you have to go, Mr. DIA, for uh, Robert McCormick. And I'd say based off the, the price action and the, the indicators as well, you look like you wanna move lower. Hidden bearish divergence, rejecting the 123. Breaking below this, you're probably not at your low. You probably go lower, and I'll see you down at 39 cents to 35 cents, sir. Good day, DIA. Let's talk about now Aventus. Aventus, AVT. Probably moving lower. Yep, it looks the exact same as the other one. I'm going to guess right now. No moon phase is necessary. 270 to 235, but we're going to bring them in anyways. 270 to 235. Moon phases, wouldn't you know it? New moon right at the high, new moon here right before a dump. New moon literally tipping, calling the high right there. You can't even make this up, man. Not really doing anything, kind of near a high you went down, kind of near a high you went down, right at the high you went down. Beautiful, be beautiful, beautiful. Yep, down you go. Oh, you know, I bet there's something to do with like the trends too. You see how it's like that, huh? Yeah, so you probably don't move down too, too much. Probably not too, too much, but I don't know. What do I? Those, that kind of moves with the chart, I guess. Maybe that's not important. I don't know. Um, yeah, lower is what I think. Based off the charts, based off the moons, 270, 235. That's where you're going. AVT, peace, brother. And that's for uh, Eric Silva. Eric, that was for you, my friend. Um, Neo. For Konstantin Zelev, or Konstantin Zelev, I don't I don't know how to pronounce it, but we're trying, man, trying for the homies. Neo on Binance moon chart for Konstantin here. The moon chart does not say good things. In fact, they say you've got. Let's see. You've got about 15 days of nope nope nope. Let's see. Yes, about 15 days of moving down. You will be moving down until the 23rd, probably. Yep, death. Death is what this tells me. Let's look at the charts, though, without the moon phase. Looking at the RSI, yeah, it probably wants to go lower. 
<coughs> four hour looks weak, looks like it wants to go down. Looking at the weekly, yeah, you could you could go a little bit lower, sure. Yeah, maybe down to 1377, you're at 1557 now. So 1377 for NEO and then up potentially. And that makes sense because 1377 for one is your golden ratio, your golden line right there, right? And then if we take away the fibs, it's also your previous area of resistance. Check back for support, move up higher, beautiful to see. Probably what you're gonna do. See you down below 14 bucks, but above 1350. That's NEO Scott. I'm betting. Well, hold on now. I took it off, didn't I? I did not mean to. Hold up now, guys. We're gonna do something weird. Let's see. There we go. Scott. Great Scott. Uh, Tim Scott, whoever Tim Scott is. If I don't, I'm sorry if I don't know, man. I, don't, I just, you know, I'm not in the know with a lot of things. Log. Well, yeah. <coughs> Mr. Vinny the Handyman. Why now? Why, sir? And I get that you requested this probably within the last day. So maybe we could have caught this move here. But why didn't you request it last week, huh? Why not? Why? Do you hate us? Do you not want to share your gains? Is that what it is? You just you, you want to call it after the move's made? Yeah. It probably pulls back from here. <clears throat> probably it does. But damn, Vinny. It's a nice move, man. 3272 hit. Beautiful. Deep extensions, man. Yeah, pulling back to about 50186. You're at five zeros three, so about a fifty percent drop, a little bit less than that from the current price. Let alone overall, it's a greater drop. But yeah, you probably move back down there. You could hold support at five zeros two six seven six. You're at five zeros three zero eight eight right now. I don't think you do though. I bet I bet you hit that. You, you rejected the two three two seven two. You probably go back to your two two seven two. That's my thoughts. That's my opinion. My thoughts. You're going lower. Let me see, let's do this. Five zeros one five, five zeros two area, yeah, makes sense. Going down. Going down. Anyways, that's it guys, that's all I got for you. So if you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more. Thank you all for coming. I'm not gonna put the moon phases up on this one, unfortunately. Um, I just don't think it'll let me. Oh my goodness, we have the forbidden phases. Let's see here. Maybe not. Nope, no moon phases, so. Sorry to get your hopes up, everybody, but no no moon phases. Yeah, they seem, I'm not going to lie, uh, Moriche, it's not my cup of tea. It's not something that I would probably use in my day-to-day -day analysis, but uh, I'd say more often than not, yeah, new moons seem to be bearish, full moons seem to be bullish might be something to it. I know I know people who use the moon charts. I've heard of people who use the moon charts and they do well with it. I would say like any chart, like any indicator, there are times, and if you go through my videos, you'll find there are times where I go over a chart that does not respect fibs that well. And I will even say that. You will go over the chart and it might not respect moon phases as well. That doesn't mean that your indicator doesn't work. It doesn't mean that your cycles don't work. It's just sometimes it doesn't apply to every chart. And that's okay. That's Every chart's different. They, they're kind of like individuals, right? I mean, like literally individual charts, but I mean like, like living things. Like they have their own personalities, their own likes and dislikes, their own trends that they like to follow. So just incorporate that. When you're doing technical analysis on anything, don't, don't treat everything like it has to be to a T the way that you learned it, right? Because it, it, it doesn't. Each chart has its own personality. It'll bend the rules to its personality. It'll follow the rules and it'll follow most rules, but there are some charts that just don't respect moon phases or just don't respect fibs or they don't respect the 50 level on their RSI, you know, things that most charts do, but for whatever reason, the, the chart, whatever chart it is, it doesn't. So don't, in your in your journey of learning TA, don't take one bad example or even a handful of bad examples on various charts as a bad thing. Perhaps it's just not the right tool to use on that chart. 
find relevance on the tools that you're looking for. And if you can't, find a different tool, you know, or find a different chart. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. That's the spiel. That's all of it. Take care. Bye-bye.